Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer. Uh, Thursday, March 14th. It's a beautiful day down here uh, in North Carolina. It's about 75 degrees. A little breeze blowing. It's nice. Finally got that tree stump out of the front yard. I was working on it uh, after one of those hurricanes knocked it down a couple of videos ago. Well, actually, a lot of videos ago. And I used a boom behind my little Ford 4000 tractor to lift it, pull it, and take it away. Carried it down in the forest and gave it a new home. But I got a problem on the Ford 4000 tractor. And I ran into this thing, let's see, a year ago, year and a half, year and a half ago. It's in the power steering. It's an aftermarket add-on. And I think it's what you call the hydraulic control valve. All right, this is the part out here on the tractor that um, I wanted to show you that I'm looking at. And I got out here and realized you can't see it real good because it's nasty. So I hit it with a little bit of super clean, clean it up here so we can actually see it. There is a number on it. We'll try to get that number and that'll help us. What you doing? Well, precious, this part right here is the hydraulic control valve in the power steering aftermarket add-on power steering that's on this tractor okay. and the thing is going to leaking um, and it's leaking bad enough that I need to get serious about trying to find a replacement part. Is it the part or the seals? It's the seal in here. It looks like the seal right there. That's rubber. Yeah well the leak is coming from right there. I've degreased it, cleaned it up, and been watching it for a while. First time I noticed the leak on this thing well, was about a year and a half ago and uh, tried to find a part then and what I found out was this is a European uh, aftermarket kit. Now I guess it was about 12, 14 years ago the cylinder that was mounted right up here on the front went to leaking and I couldn't find the right seals for that to rebuild it so I bought the smallest cylinder I could find at Agri Supply and kind of redid it and dropped it down low and made it work gonna be able to find that part? That's my problem. I'm, I've got it. I've used that um, that product. Super clean? Yeah, thank you. Super clean. That's good stuff. And look at the numbers that came out right here. All right, read that number. Can you got your glasses? You can just read it. Looks like 16299-14 something or other. All right, when I read it. Chestnut. So you would pronounce that Chesna? Chesna. All right, well, I said C-E-S-S-N-A. Chesna. Okay, Chesna. That might be the company name part. Okay. And what I'm seeing here is 15299-148. That looks more like a six to me, but I don't have my glasses on. Okay, well, I'm thinking five. Get your toothbrush and really go over it. But that's all I need It's just this part. See it? This bolt holds it in here. That bolt right there holds it in there. Yeah. Then I got the four hydraulic lines uh, to go on it. Now, I've already replaced everything else. That right up there is the power steering pump. It's gear driven where the Ford has a place for it, but the models that they don't put power steering on, they just put a cover plate on it. Well, that pump went to leaking. That right there looks like it's about to give up the goes right there. Yeah, it's it, it's nasty. You know, it's got moisture on it, but the real leak, I've observed it, and especially today when I went up there and got that uh, tree stump out, yeah. is here, right there. I wrapped a paper towel around this right here, and just in the roughly 30 minutes that I was running this tractor to pull that stump out of there and then haul it off, that towel was pretty good and wet. But anyhow, I'm asking my YouTube viewers that, you know, if they recognize this company name and this number here. Or did somebody get it and then paint the whole tractor blue? That's, this was a freshly painted tractor and soybean farmer came along and got a freshly painted tractor that was covering up a whole bunch of problems. Oh. Okay, I'm convinced now that that number is 15299-15. One four eight, and that word below it is C E S S N A. Okay, up here at the steering wheel, when you turn the steering wheel, 
you'll see that move. And when that moves, you'll see that right there go in and come out. That's the actual control to this valve, which sends hydraulic fluid coming off the high pressure side of the pump right here, down here into the control. And it sends that fluid depending on what that right there, you saw that move. And whichever way that moves is which way you get fluid through this line or this line. And they go down and that's just a regular old lift cylinder that I got welded, rigged up in there. Uh, so depending on which way you're putting fluid in it, it'll either open or close. So, and the rest of this is just rods, mechanics, but nuts and bolts. So that's the gist of the operation. You